are back to show you how to make a video. And I'm gonna show you with two of my favorite video editing softwares. One is Camtasia. I use that because it lets me show you my face while I'm live in a video with you. Most of these tutorial videos, they're either made with Loom or with Camtasia. And then I'm gonna show you Filmora, which has a lot of fun special effects that I like to use on my desktop. Guys, I want you to know I am a software hoarder, an app hoarder, so I like have all the tools. These are my favorites, but they're my favorites for right now. You can use anything to create videos. As I make these, I'm gonna give you some little tips about the videos that you can make, and let's get started. Grow your audience, grow your business. Welcome back. this is Storyblocks. I could film my own videos and I usually do with my phone. Um, but today I'm just going to download just so that it can be faster and I need it for downloading anyways. So we're going to download this one right here. MP4 is what I need for my programs. So I'm going to hit download and then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to download these videos, this one right here and hit MP4. There it is. This is the first program, it's Camtasia. Okay, so we are, we've got Camtasia now. We need to add our media to the bin so we can use it, right? So we downloaded it, now we need to add it in. So we're gonna put them in. There's the confetti and we're gonna use those with one video. And let me get the coffee cup really fast. Where did the coffee? Okay. We're gonna start with the coffee cup. I'm gonna put it down here, right here. We're gonna edit it, so we're gonna have it be square. Project settings, and I'm gonna make it 1080 by 1080. So we're gonna do custom, and then 1080. So now I'm making a square photo, video, and here it is. And I'm going to add some visual effects to it. Let's make the color a little brighter. Just go in here and check the saturation, make it a little brighter. This makes it just a little bit different from all the other videos of the same thing. So now it's my version of this. Okay, and here it is. There we go. Okay, so this is what it's gonna be. Now I need to just put some words over it and I'm ready to go, I'm done. Okay, and Um, it looks a little light, so we're going to change its color here to black. Okay, and now let's watch it. Make sure it looks as good as I think it does. Okay, there it is guys, this is the video I've got. Have a cup on us, and this is going to be our video that we're gonna put into our group to say, have come, come have a cup of coffee out of us. Okay, I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna speed this one up too. Add a clip, speed clip, we're gonna add that to 2x. I'm just making it a little bit faster here. It just seems like it's going really slow to me. Copy that again. I'm gonna leave it there and we're gonna share it now. This is gonna be our video that we're gonna to use to tell people that there's a coffee date coming. Whoop, whoop. Coffee date photo. So sometimes in our groups, we offer coffee dates for our photos. So there we go, it's finished, it's uploading. It's giving a second here. We love to have coffee dates with our peeps. So let's go into Facebook again. We love we love to have coffee with our peeps. So this is my affiliate group. I'm gonna come in here and we're gonna add this video to our affiliate group to say, hey, we've got coffee for you guys. We would love to treat you to a cup of coffee on us. We're gonna post it in here. <laughs> and 
And then just so you guys know, you would get the cups of coffee code. So I'll show you here, I'll show you the code, coffee. I just grabbed this right from um, from Starbucks. So Starbucks, when you order a cup of coffee from Starbucks, you can get the code from them. So it looks something like this. Your people can put this on their phone and then they hold their phone up and Starbucks will scan it and then they get to have a cup of coffee on you. So that's one of the things we love to do. I love to put that uploaded into the comments and then I hit post and it's ready to go. Love it guys, this is so stinking cool. We're gonna schedule it for an advance so that way it doesn't come out too early and voila, hit schedule and we're good. Okay, let's go back now and we're gonna make one. We just showed you how to make a video and schedule it using Camtasia. So what I love about Camtasia, let me show you another video on Camtasia just so you can see how cool it is with everything. We're gonna go back to just regular media. Like I'm editing one of these videos and we're gonna pull it project settings. We're gonna pull a regular size project. I can, what I love about this is I can move where my face is on this screen. So here I am here. I can turn me around, but I can also make me a lot bigger. So I take up the whole screen or I can make me small. So I am in one corner. I can cut where I sit so that here I'm sitting in one spot, but I don't want to sit in that spot next time. So here I'm going to move over. So I love Camtasia. I just moved. See, it's so cool what you can do using Camtasia. One of my favorites. Okay. Now for Filmora. I just showed you Camtasia. Let's do Filmora. So here's Filmora. I was just editing a course video. Let's make sure we put in the new content. So you can see here all the course, course parts that we were making for you. Let's add the glitter blocks because those are fun. Okay, I'm dragged it in to the block. Now we're gonna fix the color because I don't like how it's not saturated. So we're gonna fix it here, pull in the saturation. Okay, so there we are. We've got the two colors here. Um, I love how it just splashes at me. We're gonna chop it up there. Okay, it takes too long, so we're gonna chop it up again. Okay, let's move that one, there we go. Okay, here we go, and it is a total of 12 seconds, which is perfect, so let's play it. Awesome, now I wanna add some text overlays to it. This is one of the things I absolutely love. This is why I love, um, I, why I love Filmora. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna add this to the text overlay. I'm gonna take this one off, I'm gonna put it here. Now there's a lot of different texts that you can use and each of the texts, you get to edit them. So you can see here, it's got this glow stuff. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna go to the advanced and see if we can kind of like lessen the opacity of the blur. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of a border that's black, but we're gonna do it past it there. I like that. So 59, one and two. And there, so let's go to up here to the first one. Okay, and we're gonna change the words from Filmora Presents to And we're gonna change the size of that text to be, say, 28. And center it. Now notice how they've got those lines. They help so nicely to help you realize where your text is gonna be. Is open. There we go. Whoop, whoop. And now notice how the text seems really, really wide. We're gonna tighten that up. I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's see if I can make it bold. bold. Uh, do I like it bold? If I like it bold, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more to the border. Okay, I like it. What do you guys think? Let's look at it here. What do you think? I 
Love it. I love it. I'm just going to speed it up just a tiny bit with the text so it doesn't take quite as long for the text to come on. And that is it. Guys, here's where you get to have the animations on the text. I'm going to speed it up just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit so they can get it within a second or two. And let's watch it one more time, make sure the timing is good. That's it. Okay, woohoo! Um, I love it. Now we need to edit it so that it promotes um, in the right size. So the dimensions on Facebook are 1900 by 1000. But you can see here that the image is 38 by 40. So we're gonna take 38 by 40 and we're going to divide it by 19 to see it's 2. So I want to have um, this be 2,000, I think. Now, I just showed you how I downloaded videos and I edited those videos slightly before I uploaded them. There is a very real reason why I did that. Let me go in. I wanna show you what Facebook has recently said so you can see why this was important that I did that. I want you to see, here it is, updates to the Facebook video ranking. Facebook now has begun emphasizing original content. So there was a time when um, Facebook let us upload the same video back to our page over and over and over again. Facebook is knocking that down as well as sharing schemes. Pages that use sharing schemes are also being demoted. So I want you to be careful to always edit whatever videos you use. I just grabbed video footage from Storyblocks, but you notice guys how I edited it. That way it's unique to me. I don't wanna have something that somebody else already has up there, okay? So here's my page. We're gonna go in here and you would just go change the cover if you're gonna upload that video into the cover. Or what we're gonna do is go down here and you can upload the video into content and then from your content, upload it into the photos, into your um, cover. When you're uploading your video, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you add a title into it. So it's party time, Moolah is open. And here I'm going to put the FAQs for my, um, ah. I have my FAQ post in Facebook my Facebook page. This is one of my best performing ads. It's right here. And what you want to know? Okay, that's it guys. I want to hit next. Oh, another thing is if you had um, talking during this video, you're going to want to subtitle it. So that's where you would hit subtitle here and I'm gonna go hit next. And I'm not gonna publish this now because this, ladies and gentlemen, is for when I open my cart, right? Not only am I gonna post it onto my page, but I'm also gonna make it my cover for that day. So we're gonna change this and it's gonna open the cart Monday morning at midnight a.m. So midnight, it crosses over and the, the course turns on and we get to sell. It's super exciting, I love that time of the year. And that's it guys, I, I hit um, on, I hit schedule. That's it, hit schedule. It's that easy. So I've just showed you how to make a video um, inside of Camtasia that then you upload. And then I've just showed you how to create a video inside of Filmora that you upload. And get this, you can also share from those videos, video library back on to your page. Um, Guys, I wanna show you um, in another video, if you've already got everything you need from this, you already know how to do this, the next level is using Creator Studio. So hang tight guys, cause we have more on how to set up your content, how to batch content, how to upload 15 videos at one time and do it really quick using Creator Studio. So hang tight, cause we have that for you coming up in another module, in another tutorial, but this is not all that you get to learn about uploading videos. Talk to you guys soon.